What's up guys, today I'm going to go through how to do this photo collage effect. Before I get into the video, I want to thank today's sponsor, which is Epidemic Sound. They offer a huge library of music soundtracks and sound effects that you can use in your YouTube videos, your client videos for brands. I've been using them for the last five years now on all of my YouTube videos and they allow me to monetize my content and do YouTube as a full-time job. I'm always impressed with the soundtracks they bring out and they're constantly updating the website so you have new soundtracks to use in every single video. So if you're a videographer making videos for clients or if you're a YouTuber or social media content creator, then this is pretty much one of the main products you need to do this as a full-time job. I'll leave the link to Epidemic Sound's website in the description so you can go and check out their plans and pick one which suits you best. So let's get into editing this effect. You can either do this with photos or videos. Up here I have some photos and one video that I picked out. So I'm going to select them all and import them into my timeline. So if you're using video for this effect, then you need to freeze frame a part of the video to create a still image first. So right here, I'm going to select the video clip, hold down shift and press H on the keyboard. This will create this freeze frame. So I just need to trim the edges of the video clip so that we're just left with the freeze frame. Most of the photos that I want to use for this effect are taken in portrait. So I chose to edit this on a vertical project. If you have lots of landscape photos, or even if you want to freeze frame videos that you have, then it will work on a widescreen and it'll be a really cool effect for a YouTube video as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is select all of my images and right click, go to change duration. And I'm just going to change them all to 15 frames long. It's going to be quite a fast paced effect. Press enter. And depending on how long you make each image, it will change the pace of the effect. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the first image there. I'm going to select all of the image images after the first image, and then I'm going to copy and paste them. I'm going to hold down alt on my keyboard and just click and drag up on the timeline to copy and paste these images. I'm going to bring them up and bring them halfway in between the first video clip. So now I can start to cut out bits of the image to create this collage effect. So I'm going to select my first freeze frame. I'm going to go over to my effects tab over here on the right, go down to masks, and I'm just going to add the draw mask effect onto this. And I'm just going to cut out the subject that I want to pop on the screen first. This effect will work really easily on simple images. So now we have the car badge, the Ferrari badge popping on the screen first, and then the rest of the image comes on after, which is the really basic level for this effect. So now I'm just going to go through the rest of my images and cut out parts I want to appear on the screen first. So now we have a basic photo collage effect done. If you wanted to animate the different parts of images onto the screen, then what you can do is select the image, go to the point where the full image is revealed, hit the transform tool, click the keyframe button up here, go back to the beginning, and then go over to your transform parameters over here and just change. We can change the scale and position just as an example. Now, if I play that back, the badge comes on from the side of the screen instead of just popping up from nowhere. So now moving on to my second image, I'm going to add a keyframe where the full image appears. I'm just going to go over here. I just want to change the scale on this one. So I'm going to click the scale keyframe, go to the beginning of the image. And I'm going to bring up the scale and that looks really cool with the sort of like tunnel effect of the image. And yeah, that's how it looks with a bit more animation added to each of the images. It's a super cool effect and you can get as creative with it as you like. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.